I just ran up to my mom and gave her a hug because I knew, I just knew that she was living her worst nightmare. Well, Jolie, thank you so much for being here with us today. You are the baby sister of our deputy, Whitson. I can't even imagine what your family has been through this last week and a half, but try to explain for us a little bit. You know, it's a, it's a Tuesday afternoon and your phone rings and you get this news. You know, what's going through your head? So I actually found out uh, via text message. Um, I have four siblings, so there was a lot of us. So I think that was just the easiest for my mom in that moment. Um, and she just said, you know, your brother's been shot and we're headed to the hospital. My initial reaction was just to think why, you know, <clears throat> why Dustin? Why, why now? Um, I just feel like he has so much going for him uh, in his career. In his personal life, too, yeah. I'm sure many people know um, he was recently engaged and he has a little girl on the way. So just after thinking about it for a little bit, I just realized there's not a whole lot I can do right now. But what I can do is be with my mom. Um, so I packed a bag um, and we were on the road. What, what, how much thought did you give about your brother being a deputy sheriff or, or the danger that he could possibly be in? It's always been something in the back of my mind, and um, you know, I always just put my trust in the Lord to keep him safe. But I know that he really, truly does uh, love what he does, and it really satisfies him. And it's been his calling since he was 18. He's known that he wanted to be a deputy sheriff. So I think um, just finding peace in that and knowing that he's really, truly doing something that he loves and helping his community through through his work as a deputy. Once you found out like the severity of what happened, did things change or like, can you explain to us that wave of emotions that you were writing? My heart sank when I found out how bad it was. And again, I just prayed. It sounded like the odds were stacked against him at that point. When we got to the hospital was actually when it really hit me. Just, I walked into a room filled with family and close friends, and I just ran up to my mom and gave her a hug because I knew, I just knew that she was living her worst nightmare um, as a mother. So uh, after I hugged her, I sat down next to her and I just had my arm on her. And again, I, I felt a feeling of peace, um, just knowing that no matter how this ends, he's gonna be okay. And I told my mom that, I said, you know you're Dustin. You know he's not gonna give up. He's gonna fight until he can't anymore. To have a loved one in law enforcement right now, it must be a little bit tough. Like how do you navigate either your emotions or even like the conversations with people around you or when, when topics come up or when conversations come up? It's definitely difficult, especially recently. Um, but I think just bringing to light the fact that, you know, we're all human, um, my brother and other deputies um, in law enforcement do put on the uniform and their badge every single day to protect us um, for the greater good of their community and our society. So now I certainly have something to use. I can share my brother's story and his yeah. testimony to just highlight the fact that that you know this is a dangerous job and they truly are risking their lives every single day to keep us safe sometimes society at large kind of fails to recognize that these are people you know like dustin he's your brother he's a fiance he has a fiance you know he's a son what are three things about dustin that we should know i would say the first is that dustin's a huge family guy he truly loves his family so much, even his fiance's family. I know they've become like his second family and his friends too. He has a lot of friends um, that he's had since he was in kindergarten. And I think that just speaks volumes about the kind of person he is, that he can hold on to friends for life like that. And also so many of his coworkers and so many people from, from San Bernardino County have just the love we've received because Dustin is such a great, a great person and a great deputy. And he truly just loves what he does. He loves being a deputy sheriff. He loves giving back to his community and making an impact on other people's lives. I don't want to sound overly dramatic, but I mean, from everything that the medical professionals have said, I mean, 
it's a miracle that he's alive. Tell us a little bit about, you know, what you've seen him fight through this past week and a half and, and you know, how it makes you feel. Yeah, I just feel so proud of him. Um, like I said in the beginning, I knew that I know my brother and I know that he's a fighter. The fact that he had less than a 5% chance of living and today he's standing up at the hospital and he's eating food and he's talking to us and it's just, I'm so proud of him and I don't think I could ever put that into words. I truly think that he's my hero. I love that. Is there anything that I didn't ask you that you want to say either about, you know, your brother or just about any, your experience, anything? I would just like to tell any other families who ever go through this or experience something similar to just don't give up and just believe in in your loved one and trust in your faith because miracles do happen and I've seen that in the past two weeks. 